Hey, what's going on? This is the narrator once again. Well, it's just like I figured and I called this shit. I'm still out here man in the NFL because, like I said at the beginning, as well as several others way back in March, and I said, like, man, fuck that. No Kaepernick, no Colin Kaepernick, no NFL after what they did to that brother. And I said once again, once again, the, the new cheating Patriots walked their way into another Super Bowl with, with the NFL holding hands with them just to do it. Now, did it come as no surprise, but I did call this. I said, like, it's going to be the Patriots and the Eagles. Now, why is that? Here you got, you got, you got two ball clubs, bro. Two ball clubs. Both like this, you know, the Patriots, well, you already know what it comes down to, to that. Patriots, Patriots. Patriotism. I don't have a key. Patriotism, racism. And the reason why I say that because these fuckers, they go ahead, dog, and they just use their patriot. Patriotism is to hide behind the racism. So, and, and let me tell y'all something. The, the New England Patriots, that's that's a that's a that's a that's a white nationalist team, period. And it's just like what my brother Pharaoh Speaks say, man. Shout out to Pharaoh Speaks. I was looking at his video too. Hold on, because I'm close by the airport. But did it surprise anybody that don't fuckers decide to go ahead? and make it and, and walk their way into the Super Bowl with the help, of course, from the Zebras. You know. Y'all seen it as well as I did with the referee celebrating with them in the end zone uh, off that fumble recovery and stuff. Yeah, I seen the highlight of it. I said, yeah, yeah, we know he's getting invited to the cookout. You know, and then on top of that, like, you know, I, you know, uh, when I heard about this, there was some cracker at my job was saying that Jacksonville was scared. First thing first, number one, I'm, you know, like I say, like, you know, I'm born and raised right here in the Sunshine State, okay? And one thing about Jville, ain't nothing scared about them. They're much a mirror image of us. You know, that just shit just happened. But once again, you know, they must have got the cheat signals and shit from them. Um, you know, every last one of the Super Bowls the Patriots won is always going to be suspect. Because they want to try to make it this dramatic story of Tom Brady, 40 years old. And, you know, they want to try to tie it up with Pittsburgh as them winning, trying to win six Super Bowls and stuff. And I'm going to tell you right now, now, with the Patriots and the Eagles, I don't like neither one of them. My issue I, I don't have with the Eagles, my issue I have is with um, Eagle safety Malcolm Jenkins. How he supposed him and Anquan Bolden, that stunt they pulled at the so-called the NFL Players Union, how they went, went behind a uh, uh, Colin Kaepernick's back, and they did that little back alley snake deal. 89 million, which originally would have been 100 million for seven years to fight social injustice and stuff. You know, they sold out a movement for 30 pieces of silver. Now, I said before, um, Willie D has it broken down as well as I did. That when they made that deal, you allocate that money, it's 32 clubs, 32 owners. And then you got several thousand players on that on each ball club. You allocate that money and break it down fifty-eight thousand dollars for each player. You could spend that in the strip club. 
So that and on top of that, Malcolm Malcolm Jenkins owned five Papa John pizza franchises, and we all know what Papa John's is about. You know, that's why he, that's why they lost eighty eight million dollars in in net sales and stuff. But here's my thing with this. You know, I still continue with my my man caught up the NFL. And anybody asks me if I'm gonna watch the Super Bowl, hell no, I'm not watching that shit. For what? Because I'm I'm pretty sure, just like anybody else, they tired of seeing the Patriots in there. And then this ain't nothing but a re a remake of 2004. And see, like you look at the Patriots, Eagles, Patriots, Eagles. Let's look at them two words for a second. Patriots, Eagles. It's supposed to symbolize so-called United uh, America, really the United States. That go hand in hand with make America great again. So, so that's the thing about with that. And keep in mind, both of the owners, Robert Kraft and Jeff Lurie, both of them cast, um, donated over a million dollars to Donald Trump's inauguration. So that's another thing. See, when that, that shit like that happened, I, I put two and two together, man. All right, G. And see, like, 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 there, like with, with, with Tom Brady, let me tell y'all something about Tom Brady, man. Tom Brady ain't nothing but a racist, too. We said this for years, and same with Belichick as well. Both of these guys, um, it's anything like that. So, like when I got off, so like when I back to the what I was saying about with this with this Peckerwood, that's pretending to be pretending to be a so-called Jew. You know, saying that, and I, I stepped to him, and I stepped to him in his face. I said, first thing first, number one, Jacksonville was never scared, okay? They played a good game, and they played it toe-to-toe. To me, the, the Jags were a better team than the Patriots, you know? Look how they did Gronkowski. They knocked his ass out the game. So, <laughs> So therefore, that's another thing when it um, come down to that, you know. But we already know the fix was already in, and I told them that this this pickle, this cracker made all these excuses up and stuff like that and couldn't walk up because he know he ain't had no argument with me. And if he just said some slick, I'd have beat the shit out of him. That's just how I am because I can't I can't stand a troglodyte. Period. Because, I, you know, the Jags and the Vikes would have been a better Super Bowl than this crap. This is just another leeway for them to go ahead and just to get Tom Brady another championship so they could be tied with Pittsburgh and all this stuff as being the only two teams that have six Super Bowls. But all of them going to have asterisks on them. But then you got your um, – as I left, as I got home, I ran into a few – a few coons that I that I know, you know, one dude, this dude, like he's about like six three, six four, fat pudgy, sugar sugar pants wearing, sugar thong wearing motherfucker, work at Auntie Andy's, saying like, oh, it's in Jacksonville, beat them up, send them on their way. I say, yeah, see, typical coons, they gonna get out there and they gonna um, jump on the Brady bandwagon. The amount of coons I got working on my, like that work with me. But let's talk about like that with Boston. Farrell brought up a good thing, good point too. And I said the same thing about with Boston. The only thing I like about Boston was the almighty RSO. That was Ray Benzino's squad back then and stuff. Other than that, I hate everything about Boston. I don't like nothing about that because like Boston, Boston is a lot like um lot like Sanford, Florida. You know, it's a very racist racist cracker cracker shit. Uh, cracker town now. 
where the majority of the population of ethnicity is made up of Irish or Italian. And, I, and you know, both of which, which, which the so-called Anglo, which the Anglo-Saxons didn't want to have nothing to do with back in the 1940s and the 1930s. But until they started going ahead and gave them the honorary, honorary Peckerwood card, you know, read the book How the Irish Became White. You'll see what I'm talking about. And the same ones now they want to get out here and want to talk shit about us. I mean, Pharaoh is absolutely correct. You know, look how they did the great Bill Russell when he, to me, was one of the greatest, the greatest uh, Boston Celtic right there. Fuck Larry Bird. I couldn't stand that peck of wood either. You know, now, yeah, now Kyrie Irving, yeah, I heard him talk about saying that he's saying that Boston is a real sports town. But, yeah, I understand. Kyrie Irving born in Australia, so, you know, he, he hasn't been here long enough. He, he doesn't know anything. See, this is what happens when you don't know your history, you know. Shit. Yeah, Kyrie Irving, let me tell you something, boy. They only love you now because of what you can do for them. You know what I'm saying? But once you start fucking up, they're going to ostracize you. You ever wonder why Isaiah Isaiah Thomas left and he's over there in Cleveland? Which ain't no better, but nonetheless. Because Cleveland has that same mindset too, but the majority of the population there happen to be brothers and sisters there as well. You know? Shit. Because I'm, I'm going to tell you something. Boston, pff, please. Ain't nothing good ever came out of Boston. You know, shit. If you ask me if I wanted to live anywhere bet between Boston and New York, I choose New York in a heartbeat. New York City in a heartbeat. Boston is a very racist town, uh, corporation basically. It's, it's it's systematically designed to go ahead to keep uh, Aboriginal, Indigenous people down who call themselves Negroes, Blacks, and Colors. And, and Pharaoh is absolutely right on that. So shout out to him on this analogy. I thought the same thing when it come down uh, to Brady. And see with the Patriots and all that junk, man, pff, please. Now, you, you probably some people going to be in the comment section, well, you just mad, you just hating on greatness and all that. Or you just mad that your sports team, your team ain't made like that. Let me tell you something. When it come down to football, and like I say, like, you know, you probably know some of my videos, or anybody know, any of my subs know, number one, I'm a Chicago Bears fan. Yeah, I know my team sucks, and I got every right to say they suck. You know? But I never wave it away from them. There's few other teams that I do like. Jacksonville Jaguars is one of them because of that, because they from Florida. I'm from, I'm from Florida. From the southern tip, they in North Florida. I just don't rock with the damn Dolphins, which is also another racist uh, football club, ball club too. No better than the Patriots. Shit. Look how they covered up for that, fag, that faggot-ass Richie Incognito. But anyway, you know, once again, you know, this my thing like this. We put the battle crowd back in March. Boycott, man caught the Super Bowl too. We ain't watching that shit. Look how much money the NFL has lost because we didn't we ain't spend nothing with the sponsors. And like all the sponsors that I listed is the same ones that are gonna be sponsoring the Super Bowl and it's gonna be some new ones up and coming. So, you know, shit, like I say, you know, no Kaepernick, no NFL, man, fuck that. You know. All those guys, man, when Brady go ahead and retire, you ain't going to see the Patriots in the Super Bowl for the next 10, 15 years. Because, like, look, one thing I can say about my Bears, when it come down to the Patriots, let's take it back 25 years ago. Super Bowl 20, New Orleans. How we pasted they ass. They know what's up, trust me. Patriots weren't able to do shit then. Green Bay pasted their ass. It's just when they cheated against the Rams, who I also hated, that they won. And then the following thing they did against Carolina. Then they did the same thing against Philadelphia. 
but they couldn't get past the Giants. The Giants beat that ass back to back. Then they did the same thing with Seattle. I could tell you so much shit about them. It's just when they started doing that Spygate shit, that Deflategate shit, all that other stuff, you know, that's when they started winning. That's another thing. But, like I said, I'm not even I'm not even impressed with the Super Bowl. I don't care nothing about it. I'm not watching it. We got more important shit we, we trying to do. We, you know, other things we trying to do. Because, like, man, look, man, brother trying to trying to inform, get information, inform everybody how to get in this cryptocurrency game because our biggest plight right now really is economics, you know. And we got to learn how to go ahead and be econ- be economically inclined to maneuver in this in this era of, of Cheetos, you know what I'm saying? That's the thing about that. And a lot of that starts off, for one, it's by knowing your history. When you're knowing your history, your real history. Know your real history. And you start controlling your dollars. You know, knowing history, that knowing that not all of us came over on slave ships. You know, we was always indigenous here in the adjoining islands, the, which y'all call the Caribbean, which is part of Amer- of North America, you know, and the Americas. And on top of that, that we're not Negro, black, colored, or African American, okay? And understand that the foreigners happen to be these old, pale, transparent idiots that's being there. Uh, and like though, that's the thing about with that. But I only got enough to say about this, man. With that said, I'm out. Peace.